Hello everyone! Today we start our online courses how to prepare images for laser engraving and laser cut. Today I want to show you how to create a word hoe and cut it out of a piece of wood. Okay, uh, sorry I'm showing you on Russian version of Photoshop but uh, hope that you can uh, You'll understand, so I'll show you the version of Photoshop. Doesn't really matter what Photoshop or uh, software you use, uh, you need to work out of uh, you can see it's a version 12. So, okay, we started. We create a field, we'll make it 40 centimeters, we can make it in inch, it's about 15 75 inch, and also almost 4 inch in. Right. Okay, we have this field and now we will type word count. Okay, you see it. Now I'm going to move it here and we'll put it in a center. So as you can see I already made it pretty big size, it's 280 and I use this uh, font for this. And uh, in, in the basic version, you have the uh, we need to decrease spaces between letters. Okay, we have it here, and now we need to go to parameters of a layer, well, not of a layer here and we go here. Now it's, it's surrounded with a black color. Now we want it white because we don't want it fully burned. Okay, now you see that this word will be cut, but the case is that you see these spaces that it means that O will be separate of M. So we need uh, one word to be cut. Okay, we go closer, and now what we can do is add another layer, and we can, uh, we can actually paint it with white paint like this. Okay, and the same exercise we will do here. But I would like to double check. You see, E is measured with M, and we have O. But you see the empty spaces here, so we need to to paint them as well. Let's make it accurate. It's not accurate. This yes. and we need to make sure that it's also here. Well, it will be well done. Okay, and now we can see the word that is ready. Okay, also we might want to remove it out of here. It will be too much like this and like this. So now I think we're all set. We're ready for an engraving. I will show you how we run the software. And we need to save a file. We save it as a JPEG because we work on using software Bandbox. Uh, we do it on our make block. Okay, I save it as a word count. Ready for an Okay, let's save it in a best quality. Now we're ready to make an engraving. We 
launch the software Bandbox, we open uh, our Word Home, you can see it, and we need to resize it. So I want it pretty big, I want it probably about uh, 10, 10 inch. So uh, we can put it here and resize it and make sure that we are reaching. So right now it's about it's not quite big enough. Let's make it bigger. Okay. It's not so convenient to to deal with the resize in this program, I don't know why, but it's an issue. Okay, let's see. Yes, now it's it's quite big. It's almost four inch high. So it's even bigger than that. Okay. Now we set up uh, some parameters, the speed 100 uh, 1500 a time for laser to be active 100 or 500 milliseconds and we already put uh, our soft piece of wood on the worktop and now we can start an engraving process a laser cut process it takes some time to get ready okay so now it's it shows that it'll take about 15 hours, so we'll be ready by tomorrow. I'll show you tomorrow then. continue our online lessons how to make nice laser engraving and laser cut. We got a message from Bright Magazine and they asked us to make their logo laser cut out of plywood. Okay, I got this file and it is in EPS. Okay, so we open it. As you can see, it's, uh, it's a small canvas. Let's increase the canvas. Let's make it 9 and 5. Okay, then we also, I prefer to add a uh, white uh, back, back layer. And it's ready. Now we need to change something in parameters. So we need to... Uh, To make another update, so we need to make this white, and we need it big, make it big. Okay. Now you see the logo is almost ready. But what I really don't like that these parts, these parts will be not so beautiful, and especially these parts. So let's zoom in even more okay and we need an additional layer where we'll do all our upgrades okay we need to to remove this okay remove it here we also need to remove it here and this here is all set I really don't like this G so I want to make it it's better. So we'll remove it here and this. We need it like a one, one letter and a T. Letter T. Okay, everything, the rest looks nice to me. Then you see that empty spot, so it means that laser will not go here and we need to paint it back to black color. Now we have it here. Okay. Also make sure it's enough here. Enough here. Enough like here. 
here and maybe even here. So what I would really like you and encourage you to do that if you go back to 100% you see that it looks nice but some some parts should be better done. So I would say that here you can probably add another layer. It won't harm your the word B, but laser will go multiple passes here and will allow you to remove this very easily. So I'm just saying here because we use raster format, we're not using G code, so that's why we need to make it a bit stronger. That laser would remove it out of here. Okay. Now we can see the final image. Yes, B looks nice, so it seems like everything will be will be ready. We'll start the engraving process and we'll show you the result.